Good morning, YouTube. Happy Sunday. I have been up since 6 a.m. and it is now 8.30. So I am getting ready to go on a hike with my dad, my stepmom, and my brother. So it's going to be an awesome Sunday and I'm going to bring you guys along because we are headed to Waterton and it is beautiful. It is also Father's Day, so what better way to spend it than with my dad? Okay, I'm going to show you some snacks that I'm packing for our hike and then we'll be on our way. Let's do this. really early we are going to stop and get breakfast while well, they are but I am bringing my oatmeal then I got some beef jerky that I got from the farmers market it's like seven dollars this package so hopefully it's worth it then I got some banana chips and some apple chips also from this farmers market yesterday they have great hiking snacks a thing of branch chains a thing of coconut water it's good electrolytes a couple quest bars and I've been told that my stepmom packed some stuff as well so I will catch you in Waterton here we go so as I am sitting here waiting to get picked up, I am showing you guys this little present I got for my dad. Um, I got it at Chapters. It's like these mini books and it says what I love about dad. And inside of it, there's a bunch of fill in the blank things. And so it's kind of fun for me because I like to get creative. And it's also something that I can have my siblings help me fill out too. So it's kind of funny. We all do it in different colors and then you give it to him as a gift. So that's my plan. Uh, my brothers are going to be in the car, so I'm going to get them to fill out the rest. So for example, it would say, I'll always be grateful for your blank or I always want to hear what you're going to say about blank so I don't know it's fun creative if anyone's looking for a small little gift to show someone you care there's these for like any kind of member of your family or your spouse so I made one for Robbie one I made one for Robbie before too and I think you liked it <laughs> I want to take this time and comment how awesome some of my friends are um, this weekend I had a girls weekend with a few of my perfect fit for you friends so Justine came down from Calgary and Savannah came from the Crow's Nest Pass and we had a sleepover and the girls helped me with the Wellfest booth yesterday which I'm so thankful for because they're not an employee of mine they're just a supporter perfect fit for you and a good friend so shout out to you guys if you're watching this love ya and I really appreciate your support and I'm really 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 happy that you came and hung out with me and also to anyone else that came to the well fest and came and stopped by and said hi as well I'm very happy um, no, I'll show you where yeah. and we are off we're gonna do Bertha Lake this is my brother Ethan this is my brother Argo my dad Jody Evan say what's up so I'm gonna post this on my Snapchat too. So if you guys don't hear from me, this is where I am. I'm There's been girl. multiple sightings of bears. So wish us luck. We're still waiting for my dad and Jody, me and the boys. Say hi guys. Hi. We made it. Beautiful. We are having some snacks. These are the apple chips I showed you guys from this morning. They're by Wild Beet. That's the name of the company, I believe. And it's just apples and they don't add any sugar to it. So I also have the banana ones here too. So they should be pretty damn good. I'll show you guys what they look like. Just fresh apples. Can't go wrong with that. So much more convenient than carrying apples. Just carry these little things. They're like chips, but better for you. Ethan, what are you eating? Brownie. <laughs> so not all of us like apple chips, but that's okay. Seeing that it is Father's Day, I'll introduce you to my dad. See, just like me, eating brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, Dad. Hi, you do. See, people think I look like him. Do you guys think so? Comment <laughs> below if you think so. <laughs> okay, Joe, do you read the next one? Yeah, you were right about high school. <laughs> and everything that goes along with it. <laughs> Ethan, your turn. I admire your dedication to your business and your family. Oh, that's a nice that's one. Who wrote that one? Me. <laughs> okay, what's mine? I love the pleasure you take in the little things. Oh, that's a good one too. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Back to the book. 
Kidding! And we did it. Four hours. Yay! It about four hours. How long did it take us? Four, four hours. Four hours. Including all the eating and drinking. Including the all the eating and drinking, and usually that takes the most amount of time. So we did pretty dang good. Now, I think we might get another snack. Baby. So we are at a waffle place, and it just so happens that there is fresh, fresh juices here. This is apple, lemon, and mint. And you guys know I'm on juice and kick lately, so pretty dang lucky that I can find something that I wanted in a place. I usually don't have stuff like this. So, yay for me. What do you got there? What do you got? What kind of waffle? Canadian. What does Canadian mean? To be a Canadian. Maple syrup. Just maple syrup only, hey? No Nutella, no fruit, no whipped cream. This is the plainest Jane Eater I've ever met. Nothing like his sister. I would have got banana whipped cream something Nutella for sure. But I got this, guys. And this drink costs twice as much as his waffle. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. But it's good. Ah, what is Chocolate it? Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate Roll? peanut butter? Roll. Dad, Roll. what's yours? Black cherry. Black cherry. Mmm. Rolo, and that's what kind of medium. Did you get us? We've got enough for three. Yeah, none, none oh, for us. I'm just holding yours, Ashley. Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> guys, so I just got home and I just spent the whole day with my dad, and then my mom came over to visit me. She brought me this box of stuff because I am starting to plan my wedding. So we don't know what we're going to use them for, but there's a cute little groomsmen thing and cute little brides things. So this is making me excited <laughs> picking up this kind of stuff. Any, and any ideas? Any ideas you guys have for my wedding? Comment in the description box. And check this out. My mom made me these energy bites. Anyone that's been to Freshy and bought these energy bites, they're like, sorry, one sec, I have to put this down. Anyone who's been to Freshy and saw those energy bites where they sell two for like $1.89, look at this. Mom got the exact recipe and copycatted it. Sweet! So there we go, we're gonna save money this week. And I think what I'm gonna do is juice a couple mason jars for you guys so I can really rip off Freshie because I find that their stuff is online and I just figure out what they make and then I make it too. So, yeah. If you guys really want the recipe for this, I might be able to get my mom to share it with you. All right, yum. Okay guys, me and my mom are making a juice. First we're doing carrots. So this is about four carrots in there already. And once I turn this on, it's gonna get really noisy. So, this is mom's like first juicing experience. <laughs> juicing 101. Juicing 101 with Ash and Sandy. Here goes Think. nothing. You would all these carrots. You wouldn't have to have the eye surgery. She's an ass. She's an ass. I still eat all these carrots, and yes, I need eye surgery. Couple more days, guys. I'm gonna be vlogging my eye surgery. So if you're queasy with that kind of stuff, beware when you watch that video. Okay, next we got grapefruit. And we're gonna combine that with the carrot. So I got one for Robbie, one for mom, one for me. That's all we're gonna make tonight because yeah, this is a lot of work. And Robbie needs one when he gets home because he's been gone on a bachelor party and this is gonna be his hangover treatment. So I'm pretty sure he's not feeling the best. <laughs> okay, so we got now grapefruit and carrot. Mom is washing the beets. I got those from the farmer's market. We're gonna add that to there and maybe some coconut water and I think that might be all we need. They're already separating. I don't like when it does that. It grosses me out and then I just stir it, put some ice in it and it's so much better. So we have a problem. One of the beets got stuck and I tried to jam it by sticking the plastic piece inside this plastic piece and pushing it out and we broke the juicer. Or at least we're trying. Look, I can pull them across. <laughs> I, think it's no, I don't think we're gonna finish our juice. I'm gonna have to wait till Robbie gets home so you can pull this apart. So sad. So <laughs> given that it is Father's Day and that's what this video was all about, I wanted to give a final shout out to my dad and just say thank you for everything you do and everything you have done. Um, as a child that's come from a divorced family, I don't know what it's like to have my mom and my dad together. They got divorced when I was five years old and both got remarried and had children. So. 
I don't ever see being from a divorced family as a negative thing because if anything, it just brought more love into my life. I had additional parents, I had additional brothers and sisters, and I've never ever felt that I go without because my parents are separated. So I would never have it any other way, to be honest. And although I've never lived with my dad 100% full time, since I was about five years old. I lived with him for three days at a time growing up. And then honestly, since I was 16, I haven't lived under his roof, um, but he's always there. So I don't have to go out and see him. He's just there and he comes to my school events and he would come to support me and like every concert and anything that I need in life, like he's there. And I didn't actually plan on getting sad on this video, but it's true. And I think sometimes when you start putting your emotions in towards you, it resonates with you and you realize really how lucky you are and I seriously have the best dad in the world and I think as I grow up and become more mature and realize what life is all about it opens my eyes and I just realize like shit he's done a lot for me and I mean he's helped me get an education he's helped me become a more mature woman he helped me purchase my first house he helped me get my first car and like all these firsts and all these big girl things you look back and you realize he was there for all of them and he really made them happen so that's what I look for as a role model in life as someone who's been successful in their personal life but is also a successful parent and and has a successful family and his kids can depend on him and he manages to balance you know everything and I just think he's a hell of a guy so if you guys do know my dad tell him to watch this video because I highly doubt he'll be searching on YouTube for it uh, and just let him know he's cared about and he's loved and He's the shit. Dad, you're the shit. So thank you for a wonderful hiking day. Uh, I wouldn't have spent it any other way. I think I've learned from my dad that it's the little things that matter. So it's not about going out for a big dinner and having gifts and cards and all that stuff. It's like, let's wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Let's get a coffee and let's go hiking together and share time together. So he's taught me that that's important. So I love you, Dad. You're amazing. And I appreciate every single thing you do, not just for me, but for our whole family. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap on my video. It is Monday tomorrow, so I got shit to do. Uh, time to go shower and get prepared for a productive week ahead. Thank you so much for following along with my lovely day outdoors. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my page on your way out. Thank you so much for viewing. Have a great week ahead, guys. See you next time. Mwah.